Dice Age is made possible thanks to the support of our patrons. Thank you very much, and enjoy the show. The Empire of Maka has existed for nearly 1,000 years. Founded and ruled by Avon the Main, the immortal empress, it quickly expanded its borders thanks to the overwhelming power of its mages and the shrewd politics of its nobles. Now it has fully conquered the centre of the continent of Almera, and although war has ended, peace still eludes its populace. As the empire nears its first millennia, the scenes of turmoil have become more frequent and apparent. Monsters are becoming more bold, nobles plot schemes of usurpation, and whispers of rebellion hang heavy in the slums. This gave rise to the adventurer. These strong individuals of all races and classes lend their might to the citizens of Maka to drive back monstrous incursions. There are even adventurers who perform deeds so noble that the people can see beyond their race to the hero that lies within. There are those who criticize these adventurers and claim they're nothing more than pawns used to advance the political machinations of nobles. Despite the immortal empress herself making fewer and fewer appearances, there are those whose faith in the empire remains unshaken. But the wise know that it only takes a few sparks to ignite the flames of change. Allow me to introduce you to these sparks. Welcome to Elmera. Hello and welcome to Dice Age, an actual play D&D show. My name is Jack and I'm the Dungeon Master. With me as always are our wonderful heroes. Would you all please go around and introduce yourselves? Hey, it's AJ and I play Edgar Wood, the Half-Elf Bloodhunter. Hey, it's Alice Rose and I play T, the Elven Sorceress. Hey, I'm Mitchell and I play Esaraeus, the Human Rogue. Hello, I'm Zach and we are playing Tauros, your Tiefling Paladin. Hello, I'm Trey, and I will be playing Finn, the half-orc cleric. Wonderful. Uh, Zach, what, what's got you so giggly over there? What's got you... My man's like, my man's like six miles away from his mic. What are you doing? <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> <laughs> so far away. For me? It's not, yeah. You did sound very far away from your mic just You're good now. Oh, okay. You're good now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it was like that. Hey, I did it again. Stop it back yeah, again. It's back. Stop like climbing low? mountains. He's while throwing we're his voice. Are you like leaning back or something? I might just my headset. So no. Nice. <laughs> uh, well, anyways, uh, yeah. So we're back in Elmera. We're about to do our thing. Uh, AJ, you got a recap for us? I, I'm going to be honest, I was struggling with this one. Combat's hard to do a full recap for, but, you know, me, big fan of sports, Trey is too, and we were both watching Elmera Sports Programming Network, ESPN, and they had, surprisingly, our fight was being highlighted in one of their most recent episodes, so oh, I think it does a pretty oh, good shit. job of covering what happened in that battle. Yeah, that's pretty awesome that we were on ESPN. That's pretty cool. Could, could that get us copyrighted? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Would any of the other parodies we've done get I mean, I just did MTV what? in the last I was saying, I was saying <laughs> last, like, last week we did MTV, so we're already <laughs> fucked. It, that, that we did NPR for one of the very first, first. ones. <laughs> no, no, no. That's first. NPR. <laughs> M. Maka. Maka. <laughs> I used to be clever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's just put on the the ESPN segment featuring our show. <laughs> and welcome back to our coverage of Ankegen. I'm Eugene the Mean. And I'm Bojuck. Today is a big one, folks. The battle for the caves between the home team, the Ankegs, led by superstar monster, the Ankeg Queen, and the away team, some random heroes. So far as we get right into the action in this massive cavernous space. Thanks, Eugene. I'm worried about the randos here. They have slowly made their way through the caverns on the backs of a lot of fireballs and small spaces. But this field might not be as nice as a superstar sorcerer team. 
Indeed, Bo. Let's turn to our side cave reporter, Billy Boulette, for the full report on the terrain. Billy? Ah, there's so many rocks! Mother of God, there's so many rocks! <laughs> Indeed there are, Billy. But what exactly are those rocks doing? <sighs> What, what are they doing, Eugene? Falling from below? Falling from above? Breaking apart below? This is not a safe place for anyone to be! Please! Well, that's dungeons for you, Billy. Good luck out there. Now, the question is, how are these surface-dwelling sacks of meat going to do against a behemoth like last year's most valuable monstrosity? We've got lair actions, swarms of minions, violent acid attacks, and claws that just won't quit. One versus five? I think she's still got a chance. It's just in. I got an update that will knock your rocks off, Bo. Turns out two on Kegelites are returning from IR just in time for the battle. Whoa. That's right. The odds in Angar have just shot up in favor of the home team. Let's see how they do as the away team finishes their short rest and are currently marching their way there. Right into the action. Ooh, T and Fen are not doing great with those fissures. But those minions are no problem for the randos. A lot of damage coming the Elite's way, but ooh, that's a rough hit on Tauros. He is not looking great. And T looks incredibly confused as she is currently getting her ass handed to her for the first time in ever. Where's Finn? Ooh, down another hole, I see. But wait, Eugene, both Elites are down. Sorry, Edgar and S are now surrounding the queen, but trust us, she is not afraid to get up close and personal. Oh, you dirty chain devil. Ooh, this has just turned into a slog with great hits coming from each side. S I can't make a saving throw for his life, and he is down. Not to worry, not to worry, folks. That's why you bring in a healer. Fen is about to... Ooh, that's a rough one. Fen is out for the count. This is looking like an easy win for the queen. Hail to the... Oh my god, what a hit by Tauros with the longbow. T is coming in, hands waving. That magic carapace has been ruining her spell so far. I don't know what she's going to... Sweet mother of Shemphra, she's pulling out the burning hands from downtown. It can't be, ladies and gentlemen. I am not believing my infinity eyes. The Ankeg queen is down. Unbelievable! The randos have just done the impossible and beat the Ankeg Queen. Down she goes. Billy, what's the reaction like in the cave? Oh, hell, I can't help! Her massive carcass is crushing me! Oh. oh, that's a shame. Looks like we're down another sideline reporter. But these heroes don't have to worry because something's telling me they've gone up a whole nother level. So now we've had our little uh, sports uh, recap. It's time for us to return to the world of Elmira. All right. Uh, so you all find yourselves back in that cave. Uh, you've all just defeated the Ankeg Queen uh, and destroyed all of the eggs that you found uh, within the cave as well. Um, yeah, what's, uh, what's next steps? So we're still in the cave, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We're we're not looking very we, good. I we think had, we're all beat to she shit. She had suggested uh, a short rest. Yeah. At the end yeah. of last session. Did you so take it? We did not. Not yeah, yet. Fuck your luck. Okay. I'm not bad. <clears throat> so if you want, we also, if you want to take a short rest, we can. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's get out of the part different. of the cave that. Hmm. Where the their holes form and the rocks fall. I was gonna say this this part of the cave quite literally started collapsing around us. Maybe we can get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think smart. that's the best idea. Also, still, what the fuck? He's still looking at Ed Edgar, just like oh, I'm back. The story now. I'm normal form. Oh, you're back. I'm now. normal form. Okay. Yeah, because I was two hit okay. points away from potentially killing Essa, so switch to soon. Right, because you, yeah, the, from the bloodlust. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so uh, you all make your way back to the cave, uh, the part of the caves where you took your short rest previously. As you move through, you don't feel any rumblings of the earth. You don't uh, hear any skittering of, of insect legs. Uh, uh, as you move through the caves, uh, you get the feeling that 
things have been cleared out with the destruction turning of the uh, brood mother. The, yeah, just turning to the others. I do I want to eventually... I know we talked about a short rest, but with these bastards gone, I think that we could maybe take a long one. We're not in any <clears throat> particular hurry. With the mines cleared out, we can... That should halt any threat that the mayor makes of calling in the forces, hopefully. Uh, do you all also want to retrieve the ring that you gave to uh, <clears throat> Dorsa? Y- yeah. Yes. Uh, um, how long did it take us to get out of, get into the caves? Uh, moving through the caves, it took you, um, uh, it took you probably an hour, just because you're navigating cave systems that you're not familiar with in the dark. Even with dark vision, you know, it's still harder to navigate than if you had bright light. Um, uh, you could probably make your way back. Uh, actually, give me a, a quick little group survival check uh, to try to navigate out of the caves. Got it. Weren't we survival. marking the caves to find our way out? Wasn't Oh, like right. Your... You were using that we paint. Uh, using paint, yeah. Never mind. Uh, no, no need to make the survival checks then, which is Thank good. God. Because right. y'all were right. not rolling great on that. Aside from, of course, Fen. Hey, and oh, see, okay. See. Oh, well, oh, you, you, you guys, you guys would have gotten lost if it wasn't for the pain. Uh, so, even with that nat twenty, Fen's was still almost as much as everyone else's combined. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, you all make your way out of the cave. Uh, you find Dorsa uh, standing there. Uh, looks like she's just been kind of like sitting, waiting uh, for you all. Because it, it took you about an hour to just get to where the Ankegs were. Uh, and then, of course, you had to fight through. Uh, you took a short rest. Uh, so, I'd say it's been about three hours since you... Uh, uh, Probably closer to to three and a half hours since you all uh, went into the hole where uh, the trail from the the, uh, cave-in was. Uh, And you see her and she looks to you all and says, Successful? Yeah. We would say so. A little hairy at times, but... Uh, it was on kegs and not like just normal on kegs, but there was a rude mother and a lot of eggs where there could have been a lot more. Well, um, thanks for clearing them out then. Uh, anything that makes my job a little safer, I'll appreciate. Uh, um, she she does offer the the ring back uh to you all that you had given her. Yeah, and we'll just take it, plop it on, and he'll attune to it when we next came here. Mm-hmm. And she says, um, "Did you uh, find the bodies of my men?" Oh shit! Right. Oh we no! Looked. I remember. I de- definitely remember we checked, but I we, think yeah. there was the fireball yeah. room. It well, was it the fireball room? You, you, you fireball was last. You, you, fire, you fireball both rooms, unless uh, other than the queen, that. unless there were but any with the queen, which we didn't check. Uh, no, the, they were all in the the room before the queen. Uh, so yes, yeah. they were in the fireball room. Uh, I remember asking. Uh, if there was anything salvageable from them that can, it was it was mostly I don't think like there was. It was like bones at most, and even that, and then, like it's not like you could yeah, like yeah. identify anything from the bones. Yeah. There were mm-hmm. oh defining characteristics, and in all honesty, the state that some of the bodies were in probably wasn't best to bring them back. I see. Um... Well, at least the monsters are dealt with. Um, she looks to you all again and says, um, So, um, 
suppose you'll be going to talk to Garl about what all happened. Most likely. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, I'll uh, let everyone know what happened, inform the families. Um, it's nasty work, but I'm grateful that you all helped out. And she'll like offer a, her, a hand to to shake. Uh, with that hand, I give her the nasty shirt back that I used to track. Mm. This was a great help. Thank you. Yeah. No. Sure. Great. Uh, she kind of like <laughs> looks very unpleasant with the just at holding the shirt there. Um, but uh, but yeah. So you all head into the uh the inn where uh uh. Garl is. Alright. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Uh, so you head to the Rusted Pick. Uh, remind me, did you all get rooms at the Rusted Pick, or did you just... We did. Okay. Because yeah. we, yeah. we knew we'd be here yeah. for a couple days. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so you all... Uh, uh, do you immediately go to Garl, or do you give yourselves a, a chance to, to recover for a bit? We could at least freshen up. We're all covered in on cake gunk. Yeah. 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 Pretty gross. Yeah. There's a. There's a. a like a. Listen. There's. It's not. There's not like a bathroom in the rooms, but there's like a a metal tin, a metal tub that you can wash yourselves off in. Um, uh, and uh, so you all freshen up, uh, and then. Uh, Go to Garl, uh, and she looks at you all and says, "Oh, uh, what did your delvings in the mines uh, uh, uncover?" Well, there was on kegs in the mine. We've taken care of them. Seems like there should be no more problems with monsters in there now. On kegs. Uh, and she's going to make a little uh, nature roll real quick. Um, she goes, Right. That makes sense. Um, I imagine you would also tell her that there was a brood mother along with them. Oh, yeah. Uh, and she says, Yeah, no, uh, that checks out. There's a lot of. Uh, Onkig brood mothers will tend to, uh, they can hold on to their uh, eggs for decades, in some cases even centuries, and not uh, actually lay them until they decide conditions are right for them. It may have been in some sort of dormant state before the rapid expansion of the mines awakened it and led to. The tragedy that happened. Um, well, I appreciate you all uh, with your assistance on this. Um, my uh, my people were brave, and I'm I'm glad that the things that caused their demise are, are dealt with. Were you? Um, were you all planning on staying uh, in uh, Narin for much longer? We have other business we have to attend to, so we will probably be here for a little bit. Okay. What what business do you have to attend to? We know Garl is with the Monstrous Alliance, right? Yeah, she's she's okay. specifically came here to negotiate Dunar, with Dorsa. Yeah, she, she was the she was the <clears throat> negotiator. She's she's she was, the one who. Called for backup. Yeah. Okay. Got you guys I, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Essa goes. Well, uh, when we spoke with Dorsa, uh, she had told us about the mayor and his and how he has been. And looking into it a bit, we think there's something we can use against the mayor here. Oh, really? What What did you discover? Correct me if I'm wrong. We. Uh, Albi told us about how he wasn't like he wasn't paying his fair share of taxes pretty much and like 
hoarding a lot of money to himself, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah, so the heel so mentioned that to Garl. Interesting. That would explain why he would take so long to actually call any military intervention or or paladin intervention in the mines with the strike and everything. If you could get some proof of this, I could definitely use that to convince the mayor to see things from our perspective a little better. That was the plan. Wonderful. Um, if you need help getting into the manor of the mayor, you may be able to leverage your new position as the heroes of the mine to seek an audience with him. Yeah, we had discussed that. The main problem is going to be trying to where he finds where he has that proof. Uh, Albi had told us kind of where it was, right? Yeah, he'd explained like, it was in like a study. Yeah, it was in his study. In like a I, I, I think it was like the Lord's personal study. Mm. Mm-hmm. Right. If it's in his personal study, it. Uh, uh, she kind of like gestures out the window to where the Lord, where the uh, uh, mayor's manor is, uh, and she says, "Because like it is a bit of a ways, like a like a short walk from the village, but it's it's within eyesight." It's mm-hmm. it's like a two story building. It's not very elaborate. It's bigger than the other buildings in the town, but it's not necessarily like it doesn't touch anywhere close to the uh, manners that you all have seen, like in Avon, like like uh, Lord um, Richmond's manor was significantly more elaborate uh, uh, than this one. Um. Yeah, no, that uh, shouldn't be too much work to try to find. Um, If you'd like, I could try to come with you as a sort of, and try to run some, you know, uh, uh, interference or distraction while talking with him. If you all come in, you could say that you are, um, we could say that uh, I... Am the head of a mercenary guild that you that hired you all to that brought you all in to come clear out the mine, so that I was hired by Dorsa to do that. Oh, that'd be pretty smart. It wouldn't hurt to have some backup in there. My do thought you... is, do we want him necessarily knowing that we're there? That's another point. Maybe not all of us. As I look at us. <laughs> <laughs> As it looks back with the knowing look at the last time they tried this shit, we run, we run uh, it back. I don't think I should. <laughs> <laughs> I can if you need me. Taurus looks the fan. I can give him my best shot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big I, boy. Fede, Taurus, go. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let, let, all Remember right, the last time you guys tried cheer. to do some clandestine yeah. shit and Taurus almost drowned? Throw that. <laughs> Yo, honestly. Yo. Still better than probably Essa. <laughs> yeah, I will uh, attend. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, uh, so, yeah, so are you all thinking of... Uh... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, well, Essa... Was, by the skin every, of your teeth. Everyone uh, rolled stealth checks, uh, and... I have a plus 13. I rolled a 2. Fen <laughs> got a 13. We play... We play... We try to play hide and seek with Garl to prove to her we can do this. Fen got a 13, uh, Taurus got a 12, Edgar got a 10, T got a 12. Essa did get a 15 because he uh, uh, Mitchell rolled a 2, so Ooh. so Essa got a 15. Uh, so that's incredible. You gotta gotta get that reliable talent. Um, two more levels. <laughs> two more levels. Uh, I don't know why it's only Essa that rolls like shit. Mm-hmm. It's literally only been him. So yeah, uh, but Garl says, um, okay, uh, if we want to neglect to mention that certain members of this party were involved in that situation, then we could have that person uh, investigate the manor while we're communicate- having our visit with the mayor. 
that could definitely be an op an, an option. Not that I like to split the party a bunch, but does some of us want to stay somewhere else? So if said person gets caught, they can zoop over to us with the rings. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Do you? Do we? Well, would you know of any potential traps that this man, this lord has, or if he's one to do traps? Um, I'm not per personally familiar with anything. I haven't had time to investigate the manor myself. I don't think it would be unreasonable to assume that he may have set up a trap, but you know, uh, I'm not sure how paranoid he is or how worried he is about someone breaking into his study. Yeah. So then if, if there's some kind of spell, some kind of trap on whatever, wherever he's hiding this proof, it may make it impossible to bamf out. I will say that he is not a magic user. I do know this for sure. Um, does he have any magic users in, in like his employ, like the servants that are magic users, if he has any servants? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. I and imagine that... we'd have seen them trying to deal with the <clears throat> cave. And... Mm. There are a few... Um, the people who would work to get a magic license most likely would not be spending their time using it in Narin. Yeah. Maybe we have a plan where she sends a couple quick messages to us secretly, and if shit hits the fan, excuse yourself, and we just bamf to you. Okay. All right. Um, so it sounds like uh, the plan is Garl will be posing, you all will be posing as a mercenary company that uh, Dorsa hired to uh, deal with the monsters in the mine. Uh, you all, uh, specifically Dor uh, uh, Garl and T will be running interference on uh, keeping the mayor busy while Essa uh, uh, investigates, tries to find any proof of the embezzlement from the mayor uh, while uh, uh, others of you are on standby as a safe location for Essa to teleport to in the event of things going awry. Does that sound right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Essa, Essa, do you want me there? I'm going to be honest. I feel like we kind of become a too many cuts. It's only yeah. two, but it feels like with me it's too many. Um, how about how about this? Maybe don't come with me, but if there's a situation where I can't bamf out, you bamf to me and help me out. Okay. You're Ooh. a lot one. You're a lot sturdier than me, and two, you can hit a lot harder than I can. Do you have a way of communicating with Edgar while you're in? Shit. No, I didn't take the message. Damn it. <laughs> I don't got it. <laughs> Do I have it? Give me a no. second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I have message. I think the only one with message in this party is T. Mm. That's a one. Yeah, but that also has I a could... very severe. Yeah. When we find the entry point, I could be somewhere on standby where you can get a, any kind of signal out. I can rush in. But I do have my it'd be alerting everything but I do have the scream if things go too super terribly not ideal not ideal absolutely not but if it's all fucked up, fucked up beyond all repair then we have that I, I think you got it I think you got it. I'll be I'll be close, but I think it's back to the I, last time he tried to steal something, he got stabbed in the hand mm -hmm. and nearly died. <laughs> yeah. I got this. When we got so beat we by a little, like, broken fence. 
<laughs> do we want to be doing this today, or do we want to wait until we're rejuvenated tomorrow? Wait till we rest up, because we are all still very hurt. I think that's yeah. even a feasible thing to tell uh, to tell the the Lord. The Lord yeah, that uh, uh, we took a day to uh, <clears throat> become presentable and rested. Yeah, Garl agrees. She says, yeah, no, makes sense. Uh, I will... You all stay here and rest. I will get in touch with Dorsa. Uh, have her notify the mayor. Uh, and I will get us an audience for tomorrow. It's very kind of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that gets taken care of. Uh, any stuff you all uh, want to do with the rest of your day? Were we told what floor his personal study was on? I don't believe so. No. Yeah, okay. So that's one thing Albie didn't tell us. Okay. Because Albie's uh, never been inside the manor. He wouldn't yeah, know. Yeah, he, he he wouldn't know exactly where it was. Mm -hmm. To be fair, he said he creeps outside of windows and sees this shit. So it's possible that it's on the first floor or basement floor. Maybe Toby knows. Unless Albie's climbing buildings. Go ask his dog. Yeah. Go ask Albie's dog. Yeah. Get a potion of animal speaking. No, I'm just a jury yeah, now. I can just, just cast that. Just vibe check the dog. I like to roll for vibes. Um, mm -hmm. I want vibe check. Vibe check the dog. Mm -hmm. uh, I was just. Turns out it's just a, it's just a wild shaped person. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking if we fuck up and aren't able to find it, if there's a way for. Essa to still get out unnoticed. Maybe we don't go balls to the wall like we usually do. Maybe we cut our losses with that first one. And then maybe we try to get him out of the manor. Maybe something to celebrate in the mines, go have a conversation, tell him he needs to be there. Yeah. I'm just saying well, maybe we don't just break glass immediately. That, that, that could be good. I, the one concern I have about that plan is if I'm in trouble, it's more likely a guard would have caught me, which means he right. probably won't leave his manor for fear of getting robbed. Or or he's either going to, if he's going to leave his manor, he's going to make sure he has guards around him and guards in the manor. So sure. it could be, it could be a thing of, if we can't get the proof, we can bluff our way into intimidating him that we know about it and that we do have it. We do have a pretty good talker, points to T. Points to Finn. Oh, points to Finn as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's fine. I'm I, fine. So maybe if I can't get the proof, we can lie and say we have it and get him to confess that way. True. Boy, it's a lot easier to fight monsters. Yeah. Yes. We can also mess around with my spell list, but I'll have a spell that would allow me to keep tabs on the mayor for a time. About oh, ten minutes. We can even mm -hmm. try doing that tonight. I think that would be useful. That's yeah. pretty helpful. Right. Um, so I'm going to attempt to cast Scrying. Um, now, uh, is there a material I, component for um, Scrying? A focus um, worth at least one thousand GP. Focus worth at least one thousand GP. We're a font pill at holy water. We're not just swimming in holy water. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Ben. Ben has his focus. Um. I don't know if it's worth a thousand GP or. Not, but... Probably not worth a thousand GP. I mean, we have the goal to cover it. I don't know. You're probably not going to be able to find one hey, in Narin. Forge yeah, cleric. Yeah. Forge cleric. Can you fabricate something that's worth a thousand? Yes. Really? It's uh that's pretty big. Jewelry, weapons, glass, and armor. There is no 
gold as long as you make it i can make it it doesn't there's not a gold limit We're gonna need some really expensive crystal or so. You you would need really good crystal to make it is the thing. Like you would need a really like Oh, well I can't I can't do it tonight, but creation. <laughs> uh... This sound of this sound of this bell. Welcome to Forge Clerics. I make things. Ch chain spells. Stone or uh, crystal will take 12 hours. Okay. So we'll, we'll lose half the day tomorrow. But we'll fend well to focus yeah. on that. And that does eat up a significant amount of his high level spell slots if we do have to break glass. Mm -hmm. That could be a problem, but hopefully, you know, these guys are not adventurers. They're just. I'm assuming regular guards and regular people, so we can maybe handle them even without the highest level spells. All right. Uh, so. You all are, uh, Gonna be taking your break. Uh, uh, do you? Um, so, other than uh, uh, taking your long rest, does anyone have anything planned for tonight? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, I think we're good. All right. Uh, I, so... I am just going to take a moment and just go to Fen and be like, all right, so that that was the other form. I promise that's it as far as I know. Insight check. Um... <laughs> as far as I know, there could be a third one here. I don't know what the fuck that <laughs> is. Rattling around. It's Emo. Fedger. It's like there's a fusion of the Silva and a Sori form. The Sori. Oh god. Oh god. Well, I can't say that it didn't surprise me a little bit, but we can see now why Fane trusted you. Among other things. Ah. Uh, just uh, appreciate all the shit you bring to the table. We haven't really had much in terms of healing and that kind of support before, so it's much, much appreciated. No issue. I mean, I've been happy to help. It's been a while since I've got to flex the magic. Yeah. Just one thing we've been meaning to ask. And I guess I'll st let's start with you. What is it exactly that you, you lot are trying to get out of this? We had a little bit of a conversation when we ended up here, but to be completely honest, um, we didn't leave the place we were fully out of our own will. A lot of shit was happening, and we had to do a really rough breakup with the Empire. But talking to Planet and learning a lot about stuff, we learned a lot about what's happening in the near future that could really change a lot and might actually help people. So coming here, the chance to instead of fighting for the wrong side. And this is just me. I can't speak for the others. There's like a chance to finally help people that we've wronged a lot for most of our lives. I also have a whole second half part of my life that I didn't know about. And 
I'm hoping for the chance to meet more people like that and maybe meet more of my family. That's a pretty good reason, I'd say. Well, again, I'm happy to help. And interesting, to say the least. Also, don't worry. Once I get the uh, components for your friend, we'll see how he's doing. Yeah, thanks. R really appreciate that. Of course. What they don't know is Finn's been sending Oberon just messages of they fucking hate you. They say, I hope you die. <laughs> I'm cooler than you. Trey, Trey like me more. gaslighting his own character is a, <laughs> a Trey move. fascinating thing. Trey it's loves to a... emotionally harm his own character, so it makes sense. I'll say it's, it's a very Trey move. Because it's a form of self... It's a form of self-emotional <laughs> harm, Alice. That's why. <laughs> All part of the plan, baby. Alright. Um. Cool. So, uh, the next day comes. Uh, you all have been granted an audience with uh, the mayor. Uh, how uh, how do you all approach the the mayor's manner? So, who is it actually going in? Right. It's me, Garl. I maybe. Toros could go as a like a muscle. Yeah, mm -hmm. having a muscle would be good to like for, like a mercenary group appearance. Mm -hmm. They want to have Edgar and Fen stay on the outside as the retreat. Yeah, sure. that could work. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, Essa just kind of waiting in the wings, kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, as you all approach, um, you knock on the door. A uh, guard appears, uh, uh, Elven guard, um, uh, and, uh, looks at you all and just kind of looks down his nose at you all, uh, and then as you all go inside, uh, it, you go into this, like, nice living room, uh, like with a plush carpet, uh, the outside of the manor isn't really much to write home about. The inside, though, very immaculately decorated, lots of like very polished uh, fixtures, um, uh, some artwork hanging on the walls. Uh, you see a dwarven man, uh, uh, some gray in his beard, uh, uh, black hair, uh, approach you all, and like with this like big grin on his face. He's wearing like lots of rings and uh, like a heavy uh, necklace around his neck uh, and says my friends uh, welcome. I've heard that you've uh, done me a great service by clearing out the pesky things crawling within my mind. Yes sir. A hard won battle but one won indeed. Wonderful. Uh, come in and uh, uh, gestures for you all to sit in his room uh he uh gets a servant to pour each of you a uh uh he asks like i know it's a little early but i like to start off the day with a little bit of wine how's everyone feeling about that delighted wonderful I don't drink that much oh you're one of those stern types all right gotcha big guy um <laughs> get him the whiskey <laughs> you're one of the you're one of the good tieflings I respect. Mm -hmm. God fucking damn it. Uh yeah, uh and then so uh he fixes everyone a drink, uh and then Dorsa uh you and T. I'm going to have you uh, T, I'm going to have you make a persuasion check with advantage from Dorsa's help action mm. as you both begin uh like kind of talking to the mayor. Guys, 
I forgot how awesome T was in conversations. Mm-hmm. I have a plus 12 to persuasion. Nice. Jesus Christ. That's then a 23. That's a 23 because you rolled an 11 oh. on the die. Uh, oh. no, sorry, a 12 on the die. No, wait, no. No, it's an 11. 11. An 11 on the die. My apologies. I'm, 11. Sometimes math can be tricky. Um, Ooh, math bad. Uh, yeah, so Don't stand school kids. as as you begin talking, like you're like regaling the story of how you found the monster, like all the fights that were leading up to it and stuff like that. Dude's entranced, uh, uh, completely engulfed. Uh, Trey, and I say before we did this, I cast a spell on Essa. Yeah, well, are you going to do enhance ability? Enhance ability for dexterity. Absolutely. Uh, get cat's grace code on dexterity checks. Sweet. All right. Uh, you also don't take damage on falling damage. Uh, twenty feet or less. So I mean, there's a limit. I mean, this building is only about twenty feet tall. So yeah. Um. Uh, all right. I imagine like uh, uh, you all were like, okay, Essa, yeah. give us like five minutes after we enter, and then you go sneak in, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, Essa, how are you sneaking in? Uh, do we know of like any back entrances to this place? Uh, you can. I can say. I'll say that you you all had the foresight to like scope out the place beforehand, maybe at night. Uh, and uh, uh, yeah, you were able to find. There's like a a servants' entrance uh in the back. Yeah, I should have also cast freedom of movement on Essa. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, he'll like Essa will go towards that servants' quarters door. All right. Uh, yeah, you head towards the door. Uh, uh, you find that it is locked. Um, okay. Uh, can I like, so pull out the these tools and like? Well, actually, I'll put my ear to it and see if I can hear like any movement on the immediate other side. Yeah, give me a there. perception check. Okay, perception not great. We'll see. Fifteen. All right. Fifteen. Uh, you don't uh, hear any movement uh, from directly behind the door or within the room. All right. So yeah, then uh, thieves tooling it. All right, give me a thieves tools check uh, with your dexterity, so you'll have advantage. Yeah, and I have. Oh, it's just one of my. It is one of my uh, expertise skills, so double oh the God. proficiency bonus. <laughs> well, that's two. That's two thirties on that thieves tools check. Uh, so you, that's... you. You sneak. <laughs> you, a thirty for thirty. You go up yeah. to the door, uh, press your ear up against it very gently. Don't hear anything. Take out your thieves' tools. It's not even a trick. Like 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 you don't even have to work on it. You put the thieves' tools in. A slight flick of the wrist instantly pop the lock open. Uh, uh, enter in. Find yourself in the kitchen. Uh, mm-hmm. No one else around. Uh, there's a door. Uh, there's a set of stairs leading downstairs uh, to a basement. There's a, a door to the left and a door to the right. This, this might be a bit shenanigan-y, but I'll ask anyway. Could I, having worked for Richmond as far as long as I did, could I make like some kind of intelligence check or just kind of knowledge check to know like where generally a study would be placed in a manner? Like, where would be the optimal place to check for a study? I'd say you could, you can make an intelligence check to, like, try to guess at where a, you know, highfalutin person might put their study. Yeah, um, just, yeah, just see if I can, like, rule out, like, I, when it, I mean, I'm going to rule out, but be like, it's not, less likely to be here, maybe more likely to be over here. Right. Type thing. At 12, I'm not going to give me much. 12, um... I don't know, man. Like rich people are weird. Uh, so, it's like, think, uh, it's fucking. It, it could, it could be in the sky for all I know. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, so he'll head down to the basement, trying to kind of avoid being seen. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, you uh, head on in, uh, and. You head down to the basement. Uh, make me a stealth check, by the way. For, I think we forgot to have you. Yeah, one. twenty. That's a nat twenty on the stealth nice. check. So That's you thirty three. These are like old looking stairs. Like most of the house looks pretty well kept, uh, but the stairs to the basement do look like, you know, like they've been there for a while. 
and your footsteps on them are light as a feather. No creaks, no whines, nothing from the wood. You get down into the basement, you see uh, you're in like a larder, so there's like a lot of uh, uh, dry goods, foods, things like that. Uh, you do see what looks like a heavy uh, iron door against one of the walls. Uh, can I make like an investigation check to see if it's trapped as I walk up to it? Yeah, go ahead. Investigation for another 30. 30 on the investigation. <laughs> yeah, uh, you see that there's a series of strings uh, connected uh, uh, to the door that lead to what look to be like a series of clappers and bells. Uh, like a sort of rudimentary alarm in the event that someone just tried to open the door without uh, 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 getting getting involved in them. Yeah. Does it look like it's pretty easy to just like, disarm? You you could probably try to disarm it with your thieves tools. Alright. I'll make that again. For 23. Yeah, 23. Easy. You You find the mechanism that would be used to prevent the alarm from going off, uh, uh, you know, assuming that you had the correct key to the door. With the 23, I'll say you go ahead and pick the lock as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a DC 20 uh, lock on that door. Ooh. So <laughs> I, had a, I, had a, I had a little bit over 50 chance to get it. So yeah. Uh, so you open the door uh, inside. You see a sparsely decorated room. Uh, it's basically just a table. Uh, there's a chest against one wall, uh, and, uh, other than that, there's a desk, you know, a table, a chair, uh, a quill, an inkwell, and that chest. And that's pretty much everything that's in this room. Can't hurt to check. And I'm gonna kind of start lightly making my way around. Uh, can I make it like another investigation check just to... Uh, wait, what would be perception? Kind of just get a general look at the room in case of traps. General look at the room it would be perception. If you're looking specifically for traps, that will be an investigation check. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm, I'm specifically looking for traps around the room. Yeah. For fifteen. Ah, for fifteen. Starting to run dry. So you don't find any traps in the room. However, you do find uh, there's a drawer in the desk, and as you pull it open, uh, you don't see anything inside. Then as you investigate the che the desk further, you notice that the bottom, bottom of the desk is a little higher than what you would expect. And you fi uh, find a way to wedge, uh, like you take a dagger, wedge it into the side, and pry open to find a false bottom. And inside of that false bottom, you see a thick, worn uh, book. Yep, you have it. Uh, you re flipping through it, you see that it is a series of ledgers, uh, uh, transactions, things like that. Uh, well, you would need to do a full-on investigation check to like read through it and see if there's anything particularly incriminating in it, aside from just like a cursory glance. Twenty-one, I my guy. Records of sales of the ore, records of uh, uh, what taxes are actually being delivered to the lord that controls this area, and stuff that would is pretty damningly incriminating against uh, uh, the mayor, all within this ledger. SS is like, okay, the could bam, out, kind of looks, looks at the chest and go, come on. It's just a chest. Oh, S is not. S has always been super that's cautious. Nice. That's his. Been, that's been his character from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Except so, for now. So he's gonna put the false bottom back, shut the door, like shut the chest, make make the room like it has not been entered. Mm -hmm. Like he's not gonna reset the trap or anything, but like definitely like he didn't open the, like the chest. This uh, drawer has not been opened, and nobody's discovered the false bottom. Like it's, everything was fine. Once he's done that, popping over to Finn and uh, Edgar. Okay. Uh, as you. Uh... I'm going to roll a little luck check as you shut the door. Uh, okay. So are are you sorry? Just to just to clarify, are you leaving the room before you bamf, or are you? No, he's 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 going to stay in the room so he doesn't have to reset the trap. He's just going to shut the door because if if guards do rush him, he can just instantly get out without being seen, okay. like with being seen. But he can't like not identify it. Yeah, Ch no, shut never mind. I thought you were. I thought you were going to leave the room before bamfing. In that case, I would have rolled yeah. a luck check to see if a servant 
would come Came into the around. larder, uh, uh, but you stayed in the room. So, like <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah, you, no, he's gonna just, so a, f- cautious. a few minutes after uh, uh, the group has left, I imagine uh, uh, Edgar, Edgar, and Fen are you guys just like hanging back at the rusted pick? Yeah. Well, closer, closer. Bob. Mm-hmm. I think we're close. I think we're kind of like a halfway point okay. between the manor. Yeah, yeah. All right. Able to see kind of where Essa enters from, moving back a little bit, but knowing what direction. Gotcha. Like uh, maybe like a couple hundred feet or so back. Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, a few minutes after uh, you both uh, have seen Essa go in, you're like, "Hey, hope you did all right." And you just hear a. And like a little crack uh, uh, as you look and you see Essa there. Got it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what's fast. <laughs> how oh, lucky first oh. guess. How does it feel to have actually done like espionage and shit successfully? Weird. I was really expecting something to go wrong. I Same. everything went right, like literally everything. Same. Listen, you haven't been long. You have not known me long enough to say that. It's, I've heard stories. It's <laughs> incredible. You rolled Oberon, sin, Oberon in his sending sends me the stories. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you you rolled real fucking good. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, yeah. I was again genuinely surprised that yeah. now, like in my head, I was thinking. Now I can roll good. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so uh, I imagine uh, after some time, uh, do you... Uh, uh, are you all just going to wait for the rest of your group to return from speaking I, with the mayor? I, I do, I'll I, do I, ascending. I was going to say, I turned to Fen and go, I want to let the others that we got it because they need to get out. All right, uh, so T, yeah. you're in the middle of uh, telling... Uh, like talking about using your burning hands against the uh, broodmother... Uh, when you get a sending from Fen, uh, what does what does Fen say? We are posted outside. Essa just returned. He has the evidence. Feel free to leave. When- Uh, T. Yeah, so I'm in the middle of talking about this this terrible fight. Um, it was it really was terrifying for a moment there, but I just got so fed up and I stabbed it and it died. It's incredible. I've never heard of it a was. sorceress being able to just stab something to death. I'd never done it before. Thought I'd give it a try. Oh, it that's worked pretty well, well. woman. <laughs> I was generally surprised. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he kind of looks at you, Taurus. So like, lovely <laughs> getting. To me. It was so lovely getting to meet you. I'm afraid we do have to be on our way. I think we have another meeting. Oh, but um, so lovely to meet your acquaintance. Absolutely, no, and any listen. Anytime I ever have any more trouble in those mines, anytime someone uh. You know, starts causing trouble they don't need to be. I'll make sure to give you all a call, all right? Uh, you know where to find us. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. No, uh, take one for the road, he says, like, handing you a wine bottle. Oh, wine so bottle kind. Mm-hmm. I'll take it. Yeah. All right. Uh, he never offered any, like, actual monetary compensation for clearing out the mines, by the way. Of course not. Uh, of course not. Uh, so that, that wine bottle is pretty much the only payment you're getting unless you ask for something. <laughs> you know what? We're about to we're about to unseat this man, so I'll leave him. Okay. I'll give him a, a calm before the storm. Mm-hmm. I'll allow him this. Let him have this win. Uh, so yeah, so it's the one W. <laughs> Toro, Scarl, and T uh, leave. I listen. I quickly threw together a stat block for guards just in case something went bad. It went south. We didn't end up needing it. <laughs> Good. Uh, yeah. So uh, you uh, you all regroup. Uh, 
uh, I imagine back in the rusted pick in Garl's room, or maybe in Orla's uh, Orla's uh, home, or, or not Orla, Orsa's Orsa. home. Orla, Orla, wrong campaign, home. wrong campaign. Yeah. Uh, wait. Whichever one. We'll we, we meet at the better. end, mm-hmm. probably. Yeah. Garl's probably the safest bet. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you all meet back up in Garl's room, and Garl says. Were you able to secure the evidence? Like, show us the book. Got it. Yeah. You would you mind? Uh, she yeah. says. She I takes it, it and uh, it's pretty pretty damning transactions from all the ores and very clearly showing that the mine is a lot more successful than the Lord is letting on. This is excellent. Um, wonderful. Would you all mind uh, accompanying? Uh, uh, I'm going to take this with me. I'm going to speak with Dorsa about our options moving forward. Uh, would you all mind uh, waiting here while I do that? Uh, I do believe we will most likely we will be confronting the mayor with this uh, if things go well talking with uh dorsa about our potential options maybe even before this day is over would you all be amenable to coming with us to confront the mayor about this we are hired muscle yeah, that's kind of what we're here for i'm down wonderful i will uh um sorry i'm gonna say uh i sent you a message jack Roll twenty. Sorry. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Thank you. I. Oh, I would like to make an insight check. Okay. Yeah. Same. Go Something on. about which you were that kind there. of throws me off. I'll do. Nineteen. Not too bad. I was nope. starting to smell something, but I realized nice. I've never Fucking tested NPC. Nice, Edgar. Y'all, y'all have no no sense of trust, no sense. It's of... been broken a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. It's the it's the way you said it that's got me. I was like, mm. all right. Uh, so we got a nat twenty from Edgar for a total of two, uh, twenty two. Uh, for a total of two. Uh, for a total of two. Total two. Uh, uh, <laughs> now, now, Fen did roll a twenty two after he. Private uh, uh, rolled a 13 to me, so we are going to use the 13 because you did not have advantage. I know. I just wanted to roll out in the open. Mm-hmm. I, that was the message I sent Jack yeah. right before AJ said that. I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I was like, wow, Trey is not doing inside. That's unlike Trey. Uh, that's a 19 from Essa like, and a 12 from T. A little insight. Tauros, what yeah. you got? Oh, a little, little insight. 13 from Tauros. All right. Uh, so you're all uh, checking Garl, uh, making sure she's not fucking with you. Sauce. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, Edgar, you are like very like, hold up. I've been in this position before where I had to trust someone. And giving and I we just literally handed her all of the evidence that we have against the the mayor right now. Uh, and you know what your nat twenty uh, with that insight tells you uh, for your total of twenty two tells you that no she's on the level she's she's not Perfect. trying to screw you over. It wasn't it was an Oberon voice in Edgar's head. <laughs> I was telling him to it's I check on Jack. Would you would you like to hear what her uh, deception bonus is? Uh, oh no! One. Oh fuck! Uh, her deception bonus is a plus nine. She is the she is <gasps> she's what trained is her in this. Bonus? Also a plus nine. <laughs> she's so good at talking Gone from all the way beyond <laughs> beyond the continents in sight mm-hmm. uh, so yeah so the highest you guys got was a 22 um, so anyways uh, assuming none of you intervene uh, Garl will leave with the only evidence against the the only physical 
airtight evidence against the mayor. Uh, uh... Stop saying that. <laughs> I kind of want to make a copy of it now. But... <laughs> I trust her. <laughs> you keep making y'all can't tell me. Yeah, none of, none of you rolled. Can. None of you picked nope. up anything from your insight checks. Um. So you wait. Uh, time passes by. You're all kind of waiting in your room at the rusted pick. Um, I will say, after, um, can I say, uh, can I ask, uh, Carl as as they're leaving, how how long do you think it'll take before you come back? Um, depending on how busy Dorsa is, uh. I know that the strike is still going on, so she probably isn't working on anything big, so I should probably be able to speak to her right away. Um, shouldn't take me longer than an hour to get back to you all. Um, I just... Gotcha. This is something that the two of us have been working on for a while, so I, it just feels like it's right for it to be us talking about this. All right. Understood. All right. Uh... So again, you let the woman who has the only solid physical evidence against uh, the man that you're going against right now leave the Shut building. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm going to kill you. It's going to be fucking nothing. He's doing this. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 him, it's, it's just nothing. him needling us, but it's annoying. <laughs> uh, and about an hour later, uh, she and Dorsa come back. Uh, and the both of them say... Uh, Dorsa says, right, well, um, so, here's the plan. We're gonna go and tell, um, we're gonna go tell Feldrick that the jig is up, we have the evidence against him, that he can continue living in his fancy house, and, you know, living off of what he currently has, but he no longer has any control in this village. I am now the mayor of the village, and uh, if he has anything to say against that, we'll fucking kill him. And we just won't tell anyone that he's dead, and we'll still pay the taxes like we should, and in the event, and considering that the um, Uh, considering that Lady Silbrin, uh has not been to this village in well over 30 years, I doubt that she will ever actually be coming back to check in on things. Sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. I'm game. Let be. All right. So, pretty straightforward plan. I can't believe you guys didn't trust Garl. What was up with that, guys? Thank you. Like, come can on. We, can, can we all drive up to where Jack lives and just beat the shit out of him? Yo, yo Garl, <laughs> Garl, BBG, dude. He should have done that he, last well, week. Well, he didn't pull it. Well, he pulled some shit last week, but that was mainly just because he couldn't stop fucking laughing. <laughs> yo, Garl, the BBG, big, bad, evil Garl, dude. <laughs> it, was in the, it was in the title. Oh, it was in it. Uh, yeah. The immortal empress takes off her mask, and it's Garl. It's Garl. It's Garl. <laughs> um, it was always Garl. Yeah. So you all roll up to the mayor's home. Uh, I imagine you're all in like full like game face mode. Uh, let's do a group intimidation check, actually. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seventeen. All right. I have disadvantage. On intimidation? Yeah. It's a picturesque an ability mm, uh, I have. Um, I get disadvantage on intimidation when I'm out of my crone form, but in uh, crone form I get advantage. Mm, gotcha. Still no. roll the fucking eighteens, that's not bad. So the three highest we had are a twenty-three from Tauros, an eighteen from T, and a seventeen from Essa. Uh, meanwhile, no, we're just not intimidating AJ. <laughs> meanwhile, uh, Fen got a lovely little six, and Edgar got a lovely little eleven. Uh, 
So yeah. Um, so all of you roll up. Hey. Um, who who? That's knocked? only one lower than my actual charisma score. Beautiful. <laughs> who who's who's knocking? Who's uh? I I imagine the person who rolled a twenty three intimidation is the one knocking yeah. on the door. It's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's a it's a little it's too demon. Demon. Mm-hmm. As, as demon he, as he yeah. As who he is that? And knocks on it. Yeah. I was Throws thinking about it. On the door. He's not he's, he's Walter. not doing it yet. No oh, this, is this is Walter White. Mm-hmm. I'm the one who knocks. Uh, <laughs> amazing. Uh, oh, so oh. <laughs> uh, amazing. Taurus, you nearly break the door down uh, as you rain blows upon it. That same guard from earlier today opens the door. He kind of sneered down at you all when he first saw you this morning. Uh, seeing you all here now, just kind of like blanches a bit and just goes I'll get the mayor uh, <laughs> 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 it's y'all rolled ungodly on your intimidations so uh yeah and uh fucking killer man theme plays as soon as he opens the yeah. door uh and um uh so you all kind of are now once again in the living room with the mayor mayor's looking very like kind of flustered uh, it says, um, Dorsa, wow, eh, haven't had you over in a minute, uh, how, how is everything in the mines? Uh, and, uh, Dorsa kind of just walks up, takes out the notebook, shows it to him, and says, this isn't your village anymore. Uh, and Doris is going to make an intimidation check. Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. So she get advantage because um, yeah, yeah, cool we we're yeah. all behind her. Oh, because she has the evidence and everything. I will also I will give her advantage. Uh, yeah. you know, it's a line in uh, Baldur's Gate when you're dealing with um, old uh, near uh, where if you're playing a paladin. It's like, let's see what's stronger, my oath or your god. And it's like, that is very much like the vibe. <laughs> of this. Uh, so, advantage intimidation. So, that's a 24. Ooh. Oh, my god. Uh, she's a plus eight. Damn, she's scary. Yeah. She's a big lady who doesn't take any shit. Like, she, yeah, she knows so what she she's doing. So, she should have disadvantage. <laughs> Walk me through your thought process on that. Let me let me hear it. I have no thought process. I just said what I said. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> Say what you will. The man said what he said. <laughs> he said he said his truth. He's thinking by it. What's his truth? He did, he doesn't even fucking know. Uh, yeah. So, uh, Feldrick kind of just starts visibly shaking and just goes Dor- Dorsa, we don't need to, like, come on we can, we should be reasonable about this uh, and she kind of like nods slowly and says my people have died because of the actions that you forced us to take This is being reasonable. If you want me to be unreasonable, and she kind of like gestures back to the group of you behind her, we can see how much... um, Do you think your guards like your money more than they like their lives? Uh, I'm going to have her make another intimidation check with advantage. I lean over to Essa and just say, you know what I'm going to say, yes. <laughs> you already know what's coming. But, and, and Essa leads back for the first time. I think for the first time I agree. So that's a 16 from Dorsa. However, the DC was only a 15 because of the situation. Uh, So Feldred just kind of goes... No, I understand. Um, 
yeah, so she, along with uh, Garl, they both outline a uh, an agreement. They form a contract uh, with Feldrick. Uh, all pretty much like, dude has like maybe five guards in this entire manor, and not one of them looks ready to wrestle with any of y'all. Uh, they look like a lot of like. Some of them are elves, like two of them are elves, and they look like they're like, this was just a thing for us to do, to like collect an easy paycheck. We're not about this. Uh, and the others are like, uh, are humans who are like, it's not my fight. Uh, so. <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm out. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just imagining T has her dagger out. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah. Uh, there's an agreement reached. Uh, Feldrick again gets to keep his house, gets to keep what money he has in his chest in the basement. Uh, but from now yeah. on, uh, <laughs> <laughs> should have stolen it too. <laughs> uh, from... I was not risking getting fucking caught when everything was going so well. I'm sorry. Lame. Uh, uh, I and. Other than that, uh, Feldrick gets no influence in the village anymore. Uh, Feldrick gets no money from the mines anymore. Uh, they've told him, like, if you want to work in the mines, we'll pay you. Uh, but we're not get that's the only way you're making any money from these mines. Uh, and from now on, for all intents and purposes, uh, Dorsa is now the new mayor of uh, Narin. Fuck yeah. Oh yeah. And uh uh she agrees with uh uh Garl to uh you know that excess iron that would have been going to uh uh embezzle for uh uh the uh Feldrick. Uh if we end up just kind of not having that surplus anymore because I don't know, it just kind of disappeared one day and no one thought to check up on it. It's not really our fault whoever ends up with it, right? Not at all. And uh, you all have become integral in securing a reliable source of iron ore for the Monstrous Alliance. Hell yeah. yeah. We did two. Woo! Yeah, we got two of them. And figure out how the third Ooh. one goes to see if we have to fucking deal with the aftermath of that shit. All right. Uh, that went really smooth. <laughs> mm -hmm. That went like too smooth for us. This right. is weird. I feel weird about this. I feel like we like did the bad thing. Like this was the Someone's bad gonna evil option. Someone's going to backstab us now. <laughs> yeah. right? This was the evil option. <laughs> All right. Well, that means that on the. Third day of Clidnon, uh, you all have managed to successfully uh, liberate the village of Narin and secure it as an allied force for the Monstrous Alliance. Woo! This is this is the first big one, right? Yeah, that they've had this Ooh. as Hell far yeah. like as far as a direct uh, uh, actual agreement with a village this is the first one and i think that's where we end it for this episode yeah. of dice age Ooh. Ooh.